Hey everyone, Chris with B Minus Demos here, and today we're taking a look at the Terror Stamp from Orange. Before we get into the Terror Stamp, I just want to say if you're new here, thank you so much for coming to hang out with me. If you're returning, I genuinely appreciate it. Uh, go ahead and do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video, turn on the not notification bell, leave a comment, do all the things that shows YouTube that other people should see this as well. This video is going to be, talking-wise at least, pretty short. The Orange Terror Stamp is maybe the most utilitarian piece of gear I have ever looked at. This is a 20-watt amp with a solid-state power amp and a tube preamp. I believe it's a 12AX7. You've got an effects loop, you've got a cab sim a headphone out, and you've got an 8-ohm or 16-ohm uh, speaker cap out. Foot switch here kind of goes back and forth between two different volume settings, and that's it. You have a pedal-sized amp. Now, I think this is perfect for just about anyone. There's no reason for any guitar player to look at this and go, uh, there's no reason for me to have that. Now, I got this in uh, from Buyer Borrow. This isn't sponsored by them or anything. I'm just explaining. When I put it on my borrow list, I had a certain idea in mind that I wanted to do with it. I wanted to compare it to a couple other preamp pedals because I had seen somebody run line out direct into their DAW and bypass the cab sim, which in my experience on the Micro Terror, which uh, this is kind of a cross between the Micro Terror and the Micro Dark, uh, the cab sim on that was terrible. Um, so I thought it would be really cool to be able to bypass the cabs, go straight into my DAW, and use my own cabs. Uh, side note, I also thought it was kind of funny that in the, uh, the write-up for this, Orange says that you get an orange-flavored 412. Um, it's your cab, guys. Just say it's an orange cab. Just model it after one of the thousands of cabs you have sitting in a warehouse don't give me kind of an orange cap. Anyhow, that's just an aside. Um, but when I got it in, I was kind of shocked at how good the built-in cab sim sounded. And once I started looking at it like that, my ideas for demoing this changed a little bit. This was no longer uh, a preamp pedal that I was going to compare to a couple others I had. Now this is what it was intended to be. It's a fully functioning amp uh and i just figured hey let's let's see what the amp sounds like so we're gonna get into this like i said uh talking part is gonna be really short i'm not gonna talk through the sounds for the drive sounds i'm gonna be using my adorable electronics heck mouth now this is made by abominable effects i cannot tell you how many times i had to i had to do that and, and say it wrong this is made by Abominable Effects. It's uh, kind of a stripped down version of their Hellmouth, which is their take on the classic Tube Screamer style. And then I'm also gonna use the Boss RV5. Uh, again, I think it just kind of represents a lot of the like multifunction reverbs that are out there that can be had relatively inexpensive. Speaking of inexpensive, before we move on, before I shot this, I was checking. I did not see any used ones on Reverb today, but about a week ago, I saw one that was $99 with $10 shipping. Um, and also, uh, if you go to like Guitar Center's used site, you regularly see them for like less than $140, $130. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into those sounds.
All right, everyone, look, that was the orange terror stamp. Like I said, this is probably the most utilitarian piece of gear that I have had in my possession since I've been doing these videos. I think any guitar player can find something to do with it. Now, it's not like a Swiss Army knife kind of thing where it does a little bit of everything. It does one thing, maybe two, but it's it's a it's it's like owning a pen. Everybody can find something to do with a pen. This is the same kind of thing. Anyhow, look, I'm going to get the heck out of here. Uh, I hope you guys have such an awesome week. Look, that's it. Later, guys.